To make this vest, I used some weight for acrylic yarn with 5mm needles as well as some 4mm needles for the ribbing. So I'm going to start with the front side of the vest and I'm going to do a long tail cast on and start the bottom ribbing. So to do this, I'm using the 4mm needles and I'm going to take the yarn over the needle and twist it then come below my thumb over to my index finger and pull the yarn into a loop. When you're doing your cast on, just be careful not to pull them too tight or it'll be difficult to get into them after. But again, I'm going to spread my yarn with my fingers, come beneath my thumb and over to my index finger and pull that close. If you guys need help with basic knitting techniques, I do have another video that I really go through all of these steps in depth so you can check that out if you like. Your cast on row needs to be long enough to reach from one side to the other side across the front of your abdomen. So for me, I cast on 76 stitches to make a size large or extra large. So for the ribbing, we're going to be working a knit one, purl one rib. So we're going to knit the first stitch, so bring your needle from right to left through the back of the stitch, grab the yarn, and pass the stitch off to the right needle. Then we're going to bring the yarn in front. We're going to enter the stitch from right to left through the front of the stitch and then we're going to pull the yarn through that loop and pass it off onto the right needle. Then we're going to knit the next stitch and purl the next stitch. So we're going to do this knit one, purl one till the end of the row. So at the end of the row here, I'm at my last two stitches. And the last stitch should be a purl stitch since we cast on an even number of stitches. So I'm going to turn that row over and continue working in a knit one, purl one rib until I have eight rows of ribbing all together. So now that I have my eight rows of ribbing finished, I can start working on the body of the vest. So I'm going to be working in stockinette stitch, so knits on one side and purl on the other. So taking my 5mm needle in my right hand, I'm going to start knitting the body of the vest. This first row does include decreases, so I'm going to knit eight stitches and then knit the next two together. So to knit the next two stitches together, I'm just going to put the needle underneath both stitches and knit them together. So putting my needle under both of those stitches and knitting them together. So I'm going to continue this pattern for this row, knitting eight stitches and then decreasing one by knitting two together. So you want to make sure to do an even number of decreases in this row. I did 8 decreases for my vest and ended up with 68 stitches at the end. When I come to the end here, I didn't have enough stitches left. I had 6 stitches. So all I did was knit 2, knit the next 2 together, and then I just knit the last 2 stitches as normal. So once that first knit row is done, we're going to turn over and work on the wrong side of the fabric. So the wrong side of the stockinette stitch is purl stitches. So we're going to take the yarn in front, enter the stitch from right to left, grab the yarn, pull it through the stitch, and onto the next needle. And we're just going to continue working in purl stitch for the entire row. So this is how the purl stitches look. 
and on the other side we have knit stitches and we're just going to continue knitting in stock and head stitch until our piece measures from where we want the bottom to be up until about an inch below the armpit. At this point my piece measured 9 inches from the bottom edge and this is where I stopped because I wanted it to be a little bit more on the crop side. And now we're going to start shaping the armholes. So starting on the knit side, we are going to cast off the first 5 stitches. So to do this I'm going to knit the first 2 stitches and then I'm going to pull the stitch in behind over the stitch in front to cast it off. So just taking the needle and bringing the stitch over the front stitch to cast it off. And we're going to do this for five stitches. Once I have those five cast off stitches, I'm just going to knit all the way until the end of the row. Once that's done, I can turn over to the purl side of the fabric and I'm going to cast off purl wise for five stitches. So it works the same as a knit cast off. I'm just going to purl the first two stitches and then take the stitch in behind and pull it over the stitch in front. And then purl the next stitch and pull the stitch in behind over the stitch in front. And once again I'm going to repeat this for the first five stitches of this purl row. Once that cast off is done, I'm going to purl all the way until the end of this row. So working on the next knit row, we're going to start our decreasing to continue shaping the armhole. So I'm going to knit the first two stitches. And then to get a left leaning decrease, I'm going to knit the next two stitches together. If you're not doing eastern style knitting like I am, then this is going to be an SSK decrease. So I have those three stitches now and I'm just going to continue knitting all the way until I get four stitches from the end. So now that I'm down to the last four stitches, I'm going to decrease again. So this is a right leaning decrease. So I need to take my two uh, decrease stitches and remount them. So I'm going to grab them by the back leg to flip them. And then I'm going to put them back onto the left needle. And I'm going to come from the left side to knit them together. So I'm going to come in front on the left side. Bring my needle up through the back. And then I'm going to carefully knit these two stitches together. And then I'm just going to knit the last two stitches. So after the decrease knit row, I'm just going to turn the work over and do a purl row without any decreasing. And we're going to do this over the next 14 rows. So one row of knit decrease, one regular purl row, and then knit decrease. So in total, I decreased 7 times over 14 rows and I ended up with 44 stitches. So once the decreases are finished, I'm on the purl side so I'm just going to continue working in stockinette stitch without any decreases for the next 20 rows. Once those rows are finished, we're going to mark out the neckline. So working on a knit side, we're going to mark 14 stitches from either end, and I'm just placing a stitch marker there for now.
So next I'm knitting 10 of those 14 stitches. So I'm going to stop when I get to the last four. And when I'm at those four stitches, I'm going to place a right leaning decrease. So I'm going to pick up the next two stitches to flip them the same as I did before and then come through left to right through the back and carefully knit them together. Then I'm going to knit the next two stitches. Once I get to my stitch marker, I'm going to cast off the center stitches, making sure not to take the 14th stitch from the edge. So only casting off the stitches between the stitch markers. So I'm going to cast off the same way I did before by knitting two and then taking the stitch in the back over the stitch in the front. Make sure to cast off loosely around the neckline so that it's not too tight and you can actually get it over your head. So I'm just going to continue knitting the next stitch and pulling the stitch in behind over top of the stitch in front. And I'm going to do this for all of the center stitches. Once I get to my stitch marker, I still have one stitch in the center. So I technically have 15 stitches altogether, including the stitch that's still on my needle. So I need to take one stitch from the other side to cast off this last stitch. Now I'm going to knit the next stitch so that I have two stitches on my right needle. And then I'm going to make my left leaning decrease just by knitting those next two stitches together. And then I'm going to knit the rest of the stitches till the end. So now we have our straps sort of split in two, so we're going to work one side at a time. So I'm just going to turn this first side over and purl the next side. Once the purl side is done, I'm going to come back to the front and do another decrease. So I'm going to knit my first two stitches. And then I'm going to knit the next two together for a left leaning decrease. And then I'm going to knit the rest of the stitches until the end. And I'm just going to continue this for this strap, alternating between one row of purl and one row of knit decreases until I have 10 stitches left. Once I'm down to 10 stitches, I'm just going to continue in stockinette stitch for the next six rows to give this strap a little bit of height. Once I'm finished with those six rows, I'm just going to cast off this row the same way we've been doing this whole time. I'm going to make the loop a little bit big and pull my yarn through just to secure it once more. Once I've cast off on that side, I'm going to go back to the other side which is hanging on the needle and I'm going to do the exact same thing I did for this strap, just working with the opposite decrease. So I'm going to start on the purl side for this one since we've finished on the knit. I'm just going to grab my yarn and attach it by making a purl stitch. Once the purl row is done, I'm going to turn over and do knit stitches until I get 4 stitches from the end. And then I'm going to do my right leaning decrease. So I'm going to turn those 2 stitches, 
and then knit them from left to right. and then knit the last two stitches. So I'm just going to continue this the exact same way that I did the other side. So I'm going to decrease until I get to the last 10 stitches and then continue stockinette stitch for the last six rows. So once the front is done, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to start on the back now. So similar to the front, except for the back, I'm not going to be decreasing around the neckline. So I'm just going to knit the first 10 stitches, cast off the center 24 stitches, and knit the last 10 stitches. From there I'm going to work the strap pieces the same way as I did for the front. And similar to how we did the strap portion in the front, I'm going to knit the straps back and forth for three rows for the back, finishing on the purl side and then turning back to the knit side to cast off. And then I'm going to pick up the other side and do the same for those stitches. Once those two sides are finished, I'm going to attach them at the shoulder seams. So I'm just attaching a long piece of yarn here and I'm going to use a mattress stitch to sew the pieces back and forth. I'm going to do the same here for the side seam, just sewing it all the way up with a mattress stitch right to the armpit. So this is the ribbing. I already went ahead and did it for the arms, but I'll show you guys how to do it on the neckline here. So I like to start on the left side of the neckline right at the seam for the ribbing. And we're going to be picking up one stitch in each stitch along the neckline. So you can use your knitting needle to do this. Just insert it right after the seam and we're going to be working from right to left all the way around the neckline. So you can use your knitting needle to pick up stitches. So inserting it into each stitch and bringing up the yarn onto the needle. So you can use your knitting needle to do this. I personally find it a lot easier just to use a crochet hook to scoop up the yarn and gather your stitches and then you can just place them onto your needle straight from the hook. For me I just find it to be a bit easier. So once you've picked up all your stitches on your needles, you want to make sure you have an even number of stitches so that we can work in a knit one purl one rib. We're not going to be working in the round, but instead we're going to turn the work back and forth and continue working in straight rows and then join them together at the end. So I'm just going to work a knit one purl one rib all the way around and then when I get back to the start I'm going to turn the work and work in a knit one purl one rib. The ribbing works the same way for the armholes. I just picked up one stitch in each stitch space. So I'm going to continue knitting in a knit one purl one rib for a total of seven rows and then I'm going to cast off. So for the cast off, since it's a knit one purl one rib, I just knit one stitch, purled the next stitch and pulled the stitch in behind 
or the stitch in front. So a lot similar to how we've done cast offs for this whole project, just alternating between our knit and purl stitches. And remember to keep your cast off relatively loose for the ribbing since we want to be able to still have some stretch in this fabric. Once the ribbing is done, then we're just going to stitch it together using a mattress stitch. And then all that's left to do is sew in the tails and the vest is done. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and try this vest out for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time.